Bill Racel. I'm originally from Ritchie, north of here. And uh, my brother and I started farming together in uh, 1976. And then six years ago now, my son Chris got out of the, he was in the regular army. My brother Butch was ready to retire, so Chris came back, took his spot. Now Chris and I run the operation. Mostly Chris, I kind of let him, just let him go. Most of what we grow is wheat, uh, but we do grow peas and safflower. In January, I started having a pain in my right side. I thought it was just a pulled muscle or something. I didn't really think too much about it until, oh, about 10 days later, it hadn't gone away. So we went to the doctor and they did a CT scan and they said it looks like it's colon cancer. So then they did a, an MRI and it was definitely colon cancer. So in March, I had surgery and they removed a section of my colon on the right side and I bought a baseball sized tumor on the end of it. After I healed up from the surgery, started chemo every other week for six times, so 12 weeks. Then I started radiation three weeks ago. This is the fourth week, and I've got one more week of radiation to go. And then another spot was found on my liver, so we're gonna irradiate that and get it shrunk down, and maybe that'll be the end of that one, hopefully. Through most of the seating, I wasn't able to be out here. Healing up from the surgery and then uh, chemo took a lot of time. It was a two-week period for each chemo session, but the week I had chemo, I wasn't any good to anybody. Chris has worked his fool head off, so. Uh, it's really difficult to be away from this. It was interesting though when I was growing up, more neighbors helped each other. Smaller machines, so more neighbors would get together and harvest with each other. And with the bigger machines and stuff, most guys, you know, have their own operation and just kind of don't do the harvesting as much as they used to. We have one neighbor over west of here had open heart surgery one year. And that's the first time I know that farm rescue has been in this area. They went out and harvested for him one fall. It was actually um, Chris's wife, Melissa, that got the ball rolling. And uh, I had to get a letter from my oncologist to send to you guys. And, um, but then it went through your board of directors to decide. And then uh, Luke came out and talked to us. And um, you guys are here. Yeah, they're harvesting peas for us like crazy. So it's great. Uh, super people so far. Uh, Bain is an excellent combine operator. I wish I was that good. From what I've heard about them, I figured they knew what they were doing, you know, because people want to have them around, so, you know, they know what they're doing. It's very important. You know, I can be out here and, and do some of these things, but there's a lot of farmers that can't. You know, you can see the work getting done uh, when it needs to get done, so it's a great operation. To all the sponsors and those that donate, fantastic. More businesses, especially ag-related businesses, should. Do you get your name or advertising from a business like this? That says a lot about your business. Yeah, for those of you who haven't, do. And for those of you who have, thank you. You kind of go looking for help when you need it, but you usually hire somebody and pay them for the work they do. But um, Farm Rescue comes out, does the work with all volunteer help. It's just really amazing. Yeah, it's never a crop until it's in the bin, you know. So this just takes a tremendous amount of pressure off of Chris, and especially, just really a great thing. Don't wait, call them up. They're great people, and they'll um, work their tails off for you. If you're sitting on the fence, just give them a call and do it. You'll be happy you did. Can't say it enough, but thank you. What Farm Rescue does is really special.